Good morning, everybody. This is Harold with WorldTVOnDemand.com, bringing you some more breaking news. Yes, the stock market Monday has the capability of losing a thousand to two thousand points. But see, what you don't understand is over the weekend, and that's why I'm doing this video today, Saturday. Is over the weekend now. You know they they had this referendum and this vote for Britain to be out of the EU on Friday, on, on Thursday or Friday, and so they're they're out. And the stock market went down a little bit. It didn't go down that much. What's everybody hollering about? But you know a couple of things I want you to understand. When you're watching TV and you're watching the Fox Business News and Bloomberg and MSNBC and all that stuff, and you see all those guys in the background, they're talking and doing all that and making all that noise. They may be doing a little bit of something, but most of the trading now is done in offices, done on computers. They don't have to go to the floor to do that any longer. So, you know, that is all just hype. To get you all excited, and another thing, you're you're not gonna, you know, the individual person with their retirement funds and all that stuff, they're not calling in and they're not buying and selling. You gotta understand, it's people that that control the whole fund that is buying and selling stocks, and and they're gonna do what they want to do, no matter what you want them to do, because they're gonna make money whether the stock market goes up or goes down, wins or loses, they're going to make money. So, but by the end of the year, it's, it's, it's going to be bad for the stock market. Will it come back? Of course it will come back. But, uh, you know, I, I, I predict on Monday that we're going to have a historic day of some sort, either down or up. I think it will be down. But you never know because these guys that control the stock market, and I'm telling you, they control the stock market. They could make it go up a thousand or two thousand on Monday. But if reality happens and and the and it really happens the way it should with everything going on, it should go down. And let me tell you why. Uh, uh, you know, Greenspan is one of probably the most intelligent people that you could talk to that would know about what's going on. And he said that what happened with that vote was just the tip of the iceberg. But before I talk about Greenspan, <clears throat> I just want to say David Cameron, you know, the Prime Minister, um, I mean, he bailed he, he bailed faster than a one-armed man in a sinking John boat with a hole in the bottom of it. I mean, just because he didn't get his way and they, and they, and they voted to get, you know, voted, Britain voted to get out of the EU, he's going to jump ship like that? I mean, that's not right. Why don't he stay there and help and, and, and try to do the right thing? But no, he's like a little baby stomping his feet. I can't have my way, so now I'm going to leave. But see, having his way is just like all these people here coming into to Britain and into uh, you, you know all the countries over there. You know, once they get in there, then they can go anywhere they want because they don't have no borders. But what's going to happen now is that they will start protecting their borders. I don't know how soon all this will begin or what you know what policy changes are going to happen or how fast they're going to happen, but they're going to happen. You can't continue to let these this amount of people flow like a river into your country and try to support all these people. You can't do it. You cannot do it. So now I want to get back to what Greenspan was talking about. You know, Greenspan, uh, well, considering Greenspan was part of the elite, uh, what that means is that Britain will now be able to make better choices for Britain. See, when they were a member of the EU, they had to buy, sell, and trade with who the EU made deals with, and uh, 
and that was it. They had no freedom of choice as far as uh, uh, what they're going to do with their country or their goods and who they're going to buy from and who they're going to sell to. You know, that is actually what the whole thing is all about. You know, the government control, which the EU is a government entity made by the government. Okay, now let's talk about how Leave won the referendum and how they got the votes. Well, I'm just going to jump right to the bottom here. I mean, down at the bottom, you have uh, Northern Ireland voted to stay in. You had London voted to stay in. And you had Scotland voted to stay in. You only had three, three to stay in and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to leave. So, you know, uh, uh, Ireland and uh, Northern Ireland, London and Scotland, yeah, they have the most politicians, they have the most police, they have the most uh, authority of the, over there. And, uh, and, and they're kind of ticked off because they lost the vote. Well, you know, you can't, you know, I'll say it again, a few people cannot make decisions for everybody. You got to have everybody's input and, and let people make their own destiny and their own decisions on how they're going to run their lives. It's just asinine that, uh, that they would continue down the path that they were on. Okay, Scotland's first Prime Minister, Nicole Sturgeon, you know, now she's saying Scotland faces being taken out of the EU when it voted to remain. And other things that Greenspan is talking about is Greece. Uh, Greece is still not profitable. They're not, they don't have any money. They're still, they're, we're still in the bailout mode. But, uh, you know, as other countries get out of the EU, the EU will not have the funds to continue with the bailouts and giving money to the banks and this negative interest rate uh, on banks. And let me ask you, have you ever have, had a loan that was a negative rate that they paid you, an individual, to borrow money? No. It's these big corporations and big companies. And they're sitting on stockpiles of money that they have. They don't need the negative rates. It's, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. So now that the EU won't have the money to bail out these countries, you know, let them do what they do. You know, if a company cannot make it on their own, what do they do? They close the doors and go do something else. It ain't, it's not the end of the world. Well, Britain will now be able to uh, uh, boost their trade, they'll create more jobs, and they'll lower prices, and they'll lower taxes because they're going to they're going to shrink government. They're going they shrunk government when they voted to get out of the EU by a lot of people. <clears throat> I don't know exactly what the number is, but they did. They'll be able to now protect their borders because the EU is not telling them that they can't protect their borders. They'll be able to protect their borders and stop the inflow of the immigrants that is crushing their economy with their, uh, with their medical, their housing, their food, their water, and, and everything that goes along with it with having too many people. Can you imagine if you have a, 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 a two-bedroom house and you have 25 people living in there? Well, that's how Britain feels right now. You know, they, the rest of the world's let all these people uh, do what they want to do and go into this country. And, and you just can't have that. You know, you got to have some kind of order and you got to be able to have a lock on your door at your house and not have someone else come along and take the lock off and say, uh, well, you're going to have to open up your house to whoever wants to come in. Give me a break. 
So anyway, this is Harold with WorldTVOnDemand.com. Please give me a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe. And this is breaking news. Monday is going to be a historic day, much like what happened when uh, Britain voted to get out of the EU. And uh, the, depending on what the, the powers to be that, that buy and sell stock at the stock exchange, the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, you know, it just depends on what their mood is Monday as to what they're going to do. But I can guarantee you one thing, they're going to do whatever it is that's going to make them money. So what do I always say? Keep an eye on your money because all those thugs at the stock market have an eye on your money. You guys have a good day. Please give me a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe.